two, one. Good morning, Internet Freedom Fam. Max Tax, 36 inch double rifle case durability test, part two. We're going to go ahead and see is it durable to protect your rifle if it fell out of the back of your truck, conveniently rigged itself up to your tow hitch, and followed behind. Let's get it going. good so far so evidently you can drag it but in the immortal words of Maxine Waters the average AR rifle or assault rifle or whatever the hell that dumb broad wants to call it today weighs the same as 10 moving boxes 10 moving boxes you say well how heavy is freaking 10 moving boxes I don't know, but this workout sandbag, this one, is 20 and a half pounds. Let's see, 20 and a half pounds is enough to make it give up because, geez, if it won't hold 20 pounds, it sure as shit won't hold 10 moving boxes. Let's find out. Zippers are still good. Even being drug in the dirt, they didn't get filled up with a lot of dirt. The protector wall hung in real good. So, well, it looks like it's holding 20 pounds. Oh, that sounded dangerous. Hmm. I don't know. Well, 20 pounds didn't come out. Straps are definitely not coming apart. How about the strap at the top? Huh, seems to be holding up. Huh, wait, I got an idea. Evidently, 20 pounds is what these straps hold so far, but <sighs> 10 moves. This rifle case is doing a bang up job protecting our sand rifle. Didn't even split the sandbag seam open where you fill it. Everything is still good, held in place, but 10 moving boxes have got to be more than 20 pounds. Let's go back over to our sandbag for working out. Oh, yeah. And let's get another 20 pounds, but let's put it on the other side since it is actually a double rifle case. Yeah, this is gonna, this is gonna get it. This has gotta get this rifle case just completely disheveled right here. 
our edge protector, our inner wall, doing a great job. Zippers, as you can hear, are still doing good. So nothing coming apart yet. Get the sandbag out of the way. Get the inner wall in, yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll hook the handles together like we care. Three pounds, closer to 10 moving boxes. Carry straps are definitely hanging in there. Backpack straps are doing a good job. Top carry handle. Sounds like it was good. Everything so far seems to be holding up to everything that we've literally thrown it into. Let's go ahead and check some seams. Of course, the outer pocket's going to be okay. Let's look down. Let's check out our zippers. They're definitely holding on. Pack straps are doing good. I guess you would never do this with your black multicam in the desert, but we're doing it today. The little ID holder is even holding up. All right. So next, to go ahead and wrap this up, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this thing up that hill. We're gonna send it. Stop right there. Oh, so now we're gonna trek up the hill here for the last torture test. We're literally just gonna send this bad boy tumbling and a bumbling down the ravine. Because why not? Because America, that's why. Because freedom. Because I can. Let's do it. That looks pretty bueno. <laughs> Did it really? Wolverines! <laughs> now let's take it down and get a look at it. Oh, that's finally what did it. It got a little rub in it. Three, two, one, action. All right, here we are in conclusion. Max Tax Tactical 36 inch double rifle case, black multicam in the desert, stress test, durability test. Uh, I wanna make a few announcements. First off, uh, this video is not sponsored by anybody, literally the firm of Jack Shit and nobody. Uh, Max Tax was gracious enough to go ahead and send me this rifle case due to the fact that my customers in my shop enjoy them. They are a well-built, durable rifle case that evidently will protect your rifle even if you're running around thinking that you're Steve-O from Jackass. So let's go ahead and uh, strip out the other sandbag. So let's take a quick look at the divider, even using two bags and then one bag for throwing it off the hills and being stupid. Uh, Velcro still intact. Snaps are still snapped. Everything looks good here. Inside the rifle case, definitely nice and clean except for a little bit of sand that leaked out of the bag. Um, that's to be expected. Velcro straps look good. Muzzle, buttstock pocket, good. Um, this layer of protective hard foam inside the zipper, I think really helped to protect the zipper as well as to protect the integrity of whatever you put in there. Um, outside molly with hook and loop, fast attach. 
I also want to go ahead and say that the Max Tax black multicam logo flag stayed on the Velcro through all of this and uh, fared up pretty well. Let's go ahead and get a look at our straps. Doing good. Uh, we did take some finish off of the shoulder carrying strap. Not a big deal for the hook. On the back, uh, let's see what we got here. So your long end carrying handle, everything looks good. Um, of course, our other metal buckle, we got some wear on there too. Main straps look good. Uh, material in general, the only thing we did get after I put my fat old ass on it and ground it into the rocks is we did put a little bit of wear in the material over the shoulder straps. Did get some finish off of the zippers. And we did get some rocks and whatnot stuck in the zipper. So this one is going to be a little bit rough. That one's smooth as can be. Shoulder strap number one. Shoulder strap number two. Everything looks to be in pretty good shape considering that literally, I don't know of anybody that drags their rifle cases with their truck. So that was just a little bit uncalled for. This zipper did get a little bit of damage in the teeth. More than likely, just take a brush and brush the dirt out and it won't skip. Let's look at the bottom edge here. It looks good. I don't see anything deformed, ripped, torn. Zipper's full of dirt and you can still get it to zip up. But we definitely did get it full of dirt. That's going to impede things for a little bit. There we go. Let's go ahead and check this one. Same thing. Packed it pretty good and full of dirt. But as you can see from the dust coming off the zipper, just running the zipper itself. It's clearing the dirt out of the teeth. All in all, I do have to say that I'm uh, rather impressed with the Max Tax 36 inch double rifle case. Available always, A Bird Freedom Support, like Havasu City, Arizona. Supporting your freedom to not only get out and fire rifles, shoot pistols, go to the range, train, but get outside and have a good time. Remember always, a Jocko dealer is near you and Lake Havasu. That's it.